Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. In the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, the FCT, as we know it, is the nation's capital, the center of unity of Nigeria. FCT, unlike other states, unlike the states, have three senators. But Abuja FCT has only one senator. And in the last election, 2023 general election, Ireti Kingibe emerged the Senate, the senator representing the Federal Capital Territory Abuja in the National Assembly. And the Ireti Kingibe is of the Labour Party. She was among those who were swept to power under the wave of the PTOB tsunami that swept the 2023 general election, in which even PTOB is believed widely by many that he was the one that actually won the election. But at the end of the day, INEC determines who, who won. And they say it's Bola Metinubu. That Bola Metinubu is the winner. And uh, the Supreme Court agreed with Bola Metinubu. And he was uh, confirmed as the newly elected president. But to, the, to most Nigerians, they believe that it was Peter Obi that won under the Peter Obi tsunami that swept the nation ahead of that election. Now, Ureti Kingibe is a, is a seasoned politician in the Federal Capital Trust of Abuja. Her winning the election in 2023 was not her first time of contesting for the senatorial position in the FCT. She had contested in different, through different platforms. Now, given her wealth of knowledge of Abuja, because this woman knows every nook and crannies of Abuja, like the palm of her hands, because several she has campaigned, she related, she speaks the language of Abuja. You know, she's fluent in several languages, including the language of Abuja. She can speak them very well, so she can communicate with them the people of Abuja directly. Now, this woman that was elected by the people of Abuja is being literally marginalized in the affairs of the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja by Yesu Wike, who was an appointed minister. Yesu Wike is not an elected minister. He is an appointed minister. Tinubu could have appointed any other person, but he chose to reward Yesu Wike for his infamous role in the election in River State. So, he is an appointee. Tinubu can decide to, resh to reshuffle his cabinet tomorrow and move him. But, this woman has a mandate, a four-year mandate, to represent the Federal Capital Territory Abuja. And the woman is saying that she is not being carried along in the affairs of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja. That yes, we can literally ignores her. Her input are not sought, her views are not required. And yes, we can felt that he can do without her. But that is not a choice for Yesu Wike because the constitution has already given a position to King Ibe by winning that election. She is the one representing Abuja. She is the eye and the ear of Abuja people, the one that they voted for. Remember, in uh, section 134, subsection 2B of the 1999 constitution said that for anyone to be declared president of Nigeria, 
he must win 25% in two thirds of the states and the federal capital threat in Abuja, which supposes that at least you must get 25% in Abuja because who be, whoever becomes president of Nigeria becomes the, like the governor of Abuja. Because actually, Abuja does not have a governor, unlike other states. It is the president that is their governor, so to say. So instead of the president superintending directly on that city, he appoints a minister. That is why when you see a Sowike or any other minister of the FCT sign the certificate of occupancy of people, he is not signing it on his own power. He is signing it on the power vested on him by the president who superintends over the affairs of the Federal Capital Threat Abuja. Now, that responsibility of before you can become president, you must get 25% in Abuja. The Supreme Court has made mess of it in the last judgment they did. So that doesn't hold water. No, no longer is that. So no, it doesn't hold water. So the people of Abuja therefore has no role to play in the election of whoever governs them now. But the only person of high authority that, was, that has been elected by the people of Abuja, in general, the whole of Abuja elected that woman. Because that Senate position is the only elective position in Abuja that involves all the six area councils. So she's like a de facto governor of Abuja, Ariti Kingibe. So she deserves respect. She deserves recognition and should not be marginalized. And like the woman complains that she don't have access even to see the minister. And uh, when uh, Yeso Wike had uh, media chats with some group of uh, journalists recently, and uh, one of the journalists asked him about that this woman uh, uh, have not been Say, don't I have not been able to have uh, interaction with you. He said, but, but you are able to ask, you, you, uh, we cannot ask journalists, but you, you were able to have with me. So because journalists had interaction with you, does that mean that the woman had access? If the woman had access, would she go to the media to complain? In any case, the access that Yesu Wike granted the media was for his own self-glorification, so that they would see that he's working. So he gathered the journalists so that they would sing to, to blow his own trumpet. The only reason why he gathered those journalists was to blow his own trumpet, to show that he's walking. And perhaps for Tinubu to also see that he's walking. That is different from in getting involved the FCT senator who represents the whole of territory. Perhaps Yesu Wike is doing this because the woman is of the Labour Party. So you want to make sure that the woman is relegated to the background so that nothing positive will be attributed to her, that every glory, whatever happens in Abuja, will be all be all thanks to Yesu Wike. So that the woman will, will be seen as non performing. That's not how it's supposed to be. That woman need to be involved in any major decision of the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Yes, Omike has is not more important than that woman. In fact, that woman being an elected official of the FCT is far more important than Yes Omike. And deserve the respect, recognition, and need to be carried along. And she does not deserve to go to the media to cry out that things are happening in the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja, which she is supposed to pretend over as the senator representing them, and she knew nothing about it. They just do it without consulting her. Ordinarily, she ought to be the person that will be presenting the problem of the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja to the National Assembly. Of course, who she is doing. But the fact remains that even as she's presenting the problem of Abuja, yes, we cannot be solving the problem of Abuja unilaterally without consulting her, without her input. 
That would be dictatorship. Because there was a reason why she was elected to represent the federal capital at Abuja, while Yesumiko was only appointed. There's a difference between someone who has a, a political mandate of the people and someone who has an appointive mandate. The interests of the federal capital at Abuja will be better protected by somebody they elected because the woman knows that if she doesn't perform, she will be removed. She will, be, she, she, she will not be elected in the next election. So she will put in her best to serve Abuja people. But yes, we can, with all due respect, even if he perform woefully, Tinubu can decide to appoint him again and again. We saw it before, Mohamed Bello. He performed so abysmally as Minister of the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Under his uh, tenure, it was almost like there was no minister in the city. But he was there for eight years because Tinubu don't need the consent of the people of Abuja to put him there. But he will take Gibe as a mandate of the people of Abuja to pretend over their affairs, to table their problem at the National Assembly. With that kind of man overwhelming mandate, because it was an overwhelming, go and check the number of votes she used in winning the election. She won overwhelmingly, just the way people be won overwhelmingly. In the, in the federal capital territory Abuja. You know, people who won so overwhelmingly, over 60% of the vote in Abuja. That was how that woman won, too. People who won so overwhelmingly in the federal capital territory Abuja that Bola Meti couldn't get 25%. Even at Ikuabaka couldn't get 25%. That was how big level won in Abuja. And that woman also won big that day. As a women mandate to represent Abuja. So her voice needs to be heard. She needs to be carried along. Yes, so we should not be imposing policies on the federal capital territory of Abuja without the consent of a woman that was elected by them to pretend over their affairs, to represent their interest in the hallowed chambers of the Senate. That's a fact. And that's my take in all this. Uh, Ongoing, the, the you know, or the problem about yes or we between yes or and the senator representing the federal capital territory Abuja. That woman deserve more, deserve more in the administration of Abuja than yes or is giving her to her, and it's not right. That's my take on this matter. Thank you for watching this video, and if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video. Because when you like it, Google will rank it hard and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.